Well, hello friends. So this video is gonna be a little bit odd. So this is why I wanna give a little disclaimer in the beginning. We're gonna have an itty bitty vlog. We're going to hit a stunningly beautiful book cafe. I wish I had gone yesterday because the sunset was indescribable. Yeah, we're gonna go there. You'll see why I'm talking about the sunset once we get there. The last half of this video is actually gonna be dedicated to just talking about the books that I've read recently. And as I was editing this, I kind of dove into a little bit of booktube. In general, I don't really watch that much YouTube. When I was talking about a couple books, especially when I was doing Six of Crows, I started to look at other reviews just to kind of make sure I wasn't like missing any like glaringly problem Problematic things. I ended up finding a couple people that I really, really loved and I have just been watching all of their content and it's made me so excited to talk about books. As you know, like I really love to talk about books, <clears throat> but I know that this channel isn't really the place for it. So um, I have decided <laughs> to start a channel dedicated for book content. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'll link it down below. I have a second channel. I'm gonna start it in July. I'm really excited. I'm gonna try and post once a week. Um, but yeah, so first half of this is going to be an actual like vlog. Um, and then just warning you, if you aren't interested in books, peace out for the last half. It's fine, I understand. That's why I'm making a second channel so you don't have to be bothered. Um, okay, let's go. surprised that they had vichy swas and like cold soup that was great it was a little expensive i think for the amount of soup it was but the warmer soups look like it's more soup and they give you bread as well so maybe that was just my poor choice whoa falling um but now we are heading to this magical looking book cafe called che Guro. not che Guro, but che Guro. oh and there's a fork in the road so i need to i need to figure out where i'm actually going but yeah um, let's go. I'm just gonna get a nice cup of tea. Oops, hello. Um, I'm gonna get a nice cup of tea and just read and it's gonna be great and let's go.
dreamy space. Okay, since it is quite clear that we're not gonna have a spectacular sunset, we're not probably not even gonna have a sunset today, um, I'm not going to stay uh, for that. I can finish my tea, so I'm gonna like read it home, but that was, it was a great place to study. If you're looking for a good study cafe, it had Wi-Fi, it was like a library. It was so quiet, um, really peaceful, and um, not a whole lot of, books like that I wanted to look at but I was more there for like a peaceful reading space I could bring my own book so anyway yeah I will put the info in the description box as always but it actually feels like it's gonna rain right now we're in that season of like random summer rain I'm really hoping that's not the case today so I'm walking very quickly to my bus but yeah thank you for joining me um I will catch you guys back at home where I will be talking about some books. So see you, see you there. It's windy, sorry, bye. Okay, hello everyone. So we're gonna talk about books. And if you aren't interested in like young adult slash mid adult, I don't know, fantasy, you can check out because that's literally all I've been reading. I don't know what to do about it. But mainly I wanna talk about two series, two series that were across the board, the most recommended series of all time. <laughs> of all time on this channel. So many of you guys were begging me to read them, so I did, and I have my feedback. I'm going to give a little bit of a rundown first, and then there will be a spoilers section. So don't worry now, if you wanna just hear about new books, here we go. So the first series that I ended up reading was the Cruel Prince series. So the Cruel Prince, the Wicked King, and the Queen of Nothing. These books went by so quickly. I have a lot of issues with them, but for the plot, here's a rundown. So our main character, Jude, her twin sister, Taryn, and her older sister, Vivi, are taken out from the human realm and brought into the fairy realm by this crazy fairy man who is actually Vivi's father. When um, her mother got pregnant with her, she ran away from fairyland and wanted to raise a family in the human world away from all the craziness that is fairyland. This means that Vivi is fairy, but Jude and Taryn aren't, but they are raised relatively well considering they're basically were kidnapped they're raised alongside the regular like fairy kids which is not as nice as it sounds because the fairy people hate them they're really 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 mean some of the like top bullies actually are one of the many princes prince Cardin, and his kind of gang of just jerks. So Jude's main goal in life is to prove herself as worthy of being a knight in the royal court um, so that she has some kind of power or protection. She just wants to be able to not be controlled by everything around her. But when the current king decides to step down and give his crown to one of his many children, chaos obviously ensues and that's all I can really say. So my first impressions, again, as I normally do with books like these, I went into it with absolutely no idea what it was about. And I was so pleased with how much of a fairy tale it really was. This had so many classic fairy tale details. Like she went into so many details about how all the different fairies looked, even like how their horses looked, all the little things Jude had to do to keep herself safe from enchantment. She just clearly knows her fairy tales and really showed it off. I felt like I hadn't read content like that since I was a kid. I decided to start reading it in a cafe near my house and it looks like this. Like that place looks like it was out of a fairy tale. So it was just, I was experiencing the fairy tale with all of my senses. It was great. A couple complaints that um, are not spoilers is I thought the pacing was a little weird. There were parts of the plot that I thought were super duper rushed. And then um, I'll get into it more with in the spoiler section, but but some of the ways that fairies treat mortals is just wild. Overall, I don't know, like, here's the thing. I read those in basically one sitting, like it's three books. I think I read it in like two days. So I was very much drawn into the world. I was very interested in the politics and everything like that. Obviously I liked the imagery, but now that I've like taken a step back, I reread the series, like I kind of skimmed it. And I don't know how I feel, honestly. First read, 
made me really angry, but also it's entertaining. I would say I would like you to read it yourself and decide for yourself. An entertaining read, but mostly problematic and made me angry but I also enjoyed it, you know, one of those. That is the Cruel Prince series by Holly Black, yeah. <laughs> Next up is <clears throat> A Court of Thorns and Roses. Yes, I finally read it. This was definitely like the most requested or the most recommended book I've ever had in my comment section. And I can see why it's got like a major cult following. There are so many TikToks about this book. It's a phenomenon. It's a phenomenon is what it is. So what A Court of Thorns and Roses is about, how do I do this without spoiling? In this world, there are fairy lands. All the humans know that fairies are no good. They destroy everything. They like eat people. The first book of the series really resembles a kind of Beauty and the Beast. This girl is just trying to survive. She's trying to support her family so she starts to hunt and she makes a little bit of a mistake and as punishment she actually has to go live in the fairy world which is bad news as as a human girl she of course plays a very instrumental role in the struggles of both of their worlds but she's she, long story short she kind of has to save the world that is all i can honestly say without spoiling it first impressions i actually feel like most people would agree I didn't love the first book or you know here's the thing I liked the first book it just so greatly pales in comparison to the second and third book the books are long the books are like 600 700 pages long which I so appreciated the action some of it felt drawn out I do have some problems with it as I would any book but I think it's just it's easier for me to point out the things that I don't like in a book than it is for me to like verbalize how much joy they brought me. I really loved it. So those are the six, seven books that I have been reading recently. The thing that just drives me wild about books, this is so corny, but like I don't, I don't know when these books all came out years ago, I'm assuming. That world, that story existed just like sitting on a bookshelf, like the world that I can so vividly see in my head, like they existed. I just didn't know. Books are just wild. They're just wild. Really thank you to every single person who recommended those books. But now I'm going to mention some spoilers. I don't honestly need to talk too much about A Court of Thorns and Roses as far as like spoilers. I might very, very briefly, but overall, I just think you need to read it. I don't have that many qualms with it that I would ever complain. But The Cruel Prince, oh buddy. If you don't want spoilers, you can stop watching now. I need to talk to you guys. I know a lot of you said these were like your favorite series. So I, I need answers. So spoilers coming right now so this angered me enough that if you follow me on instagram you might have seen my stories and then suddenly it's like oh but he was raised by a cat and his dad didn't love him then we're supposed to love him and he becomes the good character can someone explain that to me and lock oh i would like somebody to explain how we're supposed to like Cardin. i don't care how much she talks about how he had a horrible childhood and he was just like living up to the expectations that he was going to be a horrible person. He watched his friends almost kill Jude. He did horrible things himself. He ripped off somebody's wings. Like, ah, uh, I know she was trying to, to write him as like a fairy and fairies are supposed to be like bad people, but he's bad. I think that we see a lot of the like bad boy tropes, like they're bad, but then they turn good. A lot of them are kind of questionable, like Kaz Brecker in Six of Crows. Like I let him slide and he literally murders people, so it's fine. But something about Cardin, maybe it's that she didn't really go into, like she didn't really develop the characters that much. There wasn't a whole lot of character building. And so it was just like one day he was a complete asshole and the next day he's like, oh, I'm nice. That's the reason why I couldn't enjoy the series in the end is like it was entertaining and I liked the world, but I just hated Cardin. So if anybody would like to argue on Cardin's behalf, please let me know. Anyway, that's it. I, I like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed it, but in the back of my mind, I was like, mm, 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 mm. now for A Court of Thorns and Roses spoilers, please leave please leave. Okay, so um, literally my only issue with A Court of Thorns and Roses is that 
It was honestly more like the fourth book, like the fourth book. I understand she needed to write in order to give us a jumping off point for the next book in the series, but the fourth one, it was just really hitting us over the head with the fact that like, is it Rizand or Reese? Anyway, the fact that he is like a good guy, like a little bit hitting us over the head with like, he's a feminist, he donates to charity, he wants to help refugees. Like it was just, it was a lot, which is great to see like a, a person in power actually be caring and like actually think about a lot of different layers of society, but it was just kind of like overkill, like we got it. Really, my big qualm with the book isn't really a big qualm, it's just kind of like, oh, you, you know, you kind of went overboard. Were there too many sex scenes? Yeah, I think there were maybe like four or five more than I needed. When I talked about this in my Goodreads review, there was a comment where someone was like, oh, just admit that you like this better because of the sex scenes. Of course I liked it better because of the sex scenes. I, I think especially because I had just read a series in which the like love interest was such a shitty person. But to have an actually like nice relationship where he's actually nice, I appreciated it a little bit overkill but I appreciated it. I, I really don't have anything negative to say about um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. If I look into it way too deeply, could I? Yeah, but am I going to? No, not right now. Yeah, overall, thank you so much. Spoilers are over, by the way. Speaking of fantasy, I'm continuing on because I'm just on this road. I'm gonna see it to the end. I just bought A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne Brown. There is a movement going on where people are trying to specifically only buy from Black authors right now. So we're trying to get the bestsellers list to be completely Black authors. And so you are encouraged, especially from the week of June 14th to June 20th, um, to purchase at least two books by black authors. I know that this might come out at the end of this, but obviously there's no time limit on this movement. That is what's gonna be up next on my reading list. It supposedly has a lot of West African folklore. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, thank you for joining me. This video is gonna be so long, oh my God. I felt like I went a little crazy with Six of Crows by doing a video just for that. So I wanted to somehow give you a little, a little more content than me just like out here spewing about books. Anyway, thank you so much for listening and I will see you guys next time. You guys are not letting me down, so um, recommendations down below. Also, if you'd like to help me get out of the fantasy realm, please recommend anything that isn't young adult fantasy. Um, I have like fallen and I can't get up. Thank you always. Bye. Oh, just admit that you like this better because of the sex scenes. Of course I liked it better because of the sex scenes. Why else would we be reading this? For the plot?